is Salvation TV. Christ in me. I'm 
yangu ninakiangafanyia ni sawa at the end of the day yeye kamaliza God can say yes about something but when you leave him out of equation that thing that he can say yes because he has the instruction to tell you how to do it but it was still can you want us to do when he goes to he has to that's why Moses alikana na Mungu akimuuliza maswali akamwambia nitaendaje nitakwambia nini nitafanyaje how nitafika mbele yake nimwambie ni nani hata na ndio tunaje mafani huko na matari ya wakawaka moto na akaniongelea kwa sababu wewe unatuambia nini he needed to have full information he needed to ensure that god is with him but as he that's a little bit ya kama ya mimi sikuongea kwa nini it does not mean that he was a samurai hallelujah
What is this? Which kind of challenge is this? Many people wa mechenga then to realize they are alone. Wa mechenga vitu wakajipata wakopeke yao. Listen, what troubles men is when they realize they are alone. No believer should start anything without knowing the backup of God. Is God is in this. And that's why we lead people. Go and pray about it. You want to get married? Go and pray about it. You want to start a business? Go and pray about it. You are, you are in a new relationship? Pray about it. You want a new job? Pray about it. Why? You must understand. Is God in this? Can I tell you a story of a man? This man by the name uh, Saul. Saul who became Paul. Saul alifanyakazi. He was educated. Akajui ndio kazi yake. Anena na uwa wa kristo. But that was not his job. God was not on his side. But to him, he knew God was in his side. Do you know you can do something for 20 years only to discover you are alone when things are crumbling down. Vitu zinaisha. That's what you realize. Oh, I was alone. You'll cry and say, God, why are you leaving me? God did not leave you. You left God 20 years ago and you expect him to be with you now. Have you ever asked God, are you in this? Ushauliza Mungu baba kwa kwa hiki kitu Me I've, I've gotten some 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 deals that I ask God God are you in this There, there are issues that you get they are too good to be true God are you in this Kuna challenge unafaa upite uliza God are you in this Okay Let me tell you this You can pray a prayer cursing God without knowing Because some challenges will come, but God has initiated them. So you must understand, is God in this? There is a problem I'm passing through. Is God in this? Or is the devil? Who is with me in this? The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not. That man knew that God is with him. Yes. He was 100% sure that God is here with me. So whatever is happening to me, God is here. So if I'm losing anything, God is with me. So I'm losing it to his glory. It, it is what he wants me to lose. If men are fighting me, I love it. Why? God is in this. Because I know. I'm saying, if you know that he's there, you will celebrate in that tribulations. Uta celebrate wakati pili zinakata kufanya kazi. Ah, panesu wa sifiwe. You will be happy you will have peace of mind. Why? You know God is in this. When you see there is a um, misunderstanding in your marriage, you will celebrate. Why? God is in this. You are aware. Di wakati yesu alisikia na niya mekufa, Lazaro alisema nini? He's sleeping. Wakati aliona wanafunzi wa shikanishi, haka wambia, no, hui jama amekufa. Lakini amekufa, to our advantage. Ah, bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amekufa to our advantage. So wakati Yesu alikuwa anaenda kuvuvua huyu jamaa, hakwenda kumvuvua kwa kujaribu. No, alijua it is to our advantage. There are some people will be fired in your company to your advantage. You will find yourself praying that they may come back and you should be thanking God they are gone. Why? It was to your advantage if God is for us. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yeah. There's some people that will live your life. You will pray that they come back and God send them away. Yeah. Because you don't know. He says, everything happens for those who do what? In fact, he does not just say everything happens. He says, now we know. Now we know. Sasa tunajua kwamba kila kitu kinatendeka kwa nini? Kwa wema. For those who love God, So if God is for us, who can be against us? I want you to understand. When God is not with you, listen to me, even your dog will bite you. Even the people that, will, that are supposed to support you, they will be against you. Sometimes when you see challenges that you don't understand, it's good to confirm, is God in this? 
Is God with me? Who am I with? Who is the one that is encouraging me to stand and to speak? Who is the one that is giving me backup? Niko na backup ya nani? Niko na assurance ya nani? Utakuwa unajua kwamba hii sina backup ya Mungu, unaachana naye. Inaka sweet, inaka poor. Lakini unasema hii sina backup ya Mungu, unaachana naye. Kuna vita zingine unaziona ni kweli inakuita unataka upigana na ngalia niko na backup ya God sina unaachana naye That's how secure you can be Kwa kujua kwamba hii vita sio yangu hii sasa Bwana Yesu asifiwe Yeah Bwana Yesu asifiwe Si Mungu anatupigania vita Yeah kuna vita ameturuhusu tupigane na kuna vita ameruhusu a a tumwachie yeye apigane Kwani Gideon alipigana vita gani Bwana Yesu asifiwe alipangiwa wakapanga wakapanga akaambia reduce men mwishoe Bwana asifiwe Mungu mwenyewe anapigana vita imagine jamaa amepangwa ameambiwa vile mpaka akajua sasa niko na team baadaye anaona kwamba vita ilipigana kitambo hakuna kitu anapigana yeye mwenyewe Kanisa Bwana asifiwe if God is for us the prayer will pray will be a prayer with that has assurance the prayer will pray it will be a prayer that we know there is a backup so when i'm running i know i am protected when i'm fighting i know i am protected i have a backup i know when things go south i know god can appear again and save me from this daudi anasema nini anasema kama sio mungu kwa upande wetu maadui zetu wangetumeza haya Angalia mwanzo kumwambia maadui zako wanataka kukufanyia nini? So muulize Psalms 124 128. Can you read it? Anasema kama si Bwana kwa upande wetu. I, I want you to understand why God should be on your side. Why anything that you do you must confirm if he's with you or not. Yes, can you read it? Is that one connected? Use your mom labda it is working. Psalms 124 verse 1 to 8. Yes. Psalms Yes. Yes. When men attacked us when their anger flared against us yes they would have swallowed us alive Bwana Yesu asifiwe continue the flood would have swept us eh the torrent would have swept over us eh the raging waters would have swept us away eh praise be to God who has not let us be torn by their teeth eh who have a who have escaped like a bird out of the flower snare uh, the snare has been broken and we have escaped our help is in the name of the lord the maker of heaven and earth what is this view i want you to get a point there it is only god that can help you so if you are doing anything make sure that god is with you because if the enemy will trick you to enter in any issue in any business in any agreement and god is not there let me tell you you are already separated to be destroyed you are attacked already kanisa bwana asifiwe amen kanisa bwana asifiwe i refuse to do anything that god is not in it i refuse to build a church that god is not in that plan hello I refuse to build anything that is outside the will of God. Refuse to do anything that God has not backed it up. Refuse to do anything that God has not agreed to it. Because the enemies will come. In anything that you do, let me tell you, there is a time of storm that will come. And what will determine your standing point? Listen to me, it is what backs you In your marriage storms will come but this is the point is God with you which side are you with God because I na Mungu wewe because storms itakuja 
challenges the kuja, whether you like it or not, whether you are a prophet, whether you are a drunkard, whatever you are, challenges will come. But listen to me, what will determine that you will stand? It is who is with you. It's not what you know. It is who is with you. Who is with you? Who sent you there? Who told you to be there? Who told you to invest in that thing? Who told you to be there? Who, who allowed you to stand there? Who brought you there? Who is your Godfather in that place? Because now challenges have come. But who is with you? Enemies will come to fight you. Anytime, any day, they will come. Listen to me. One day I taught you, Nani Kawambe, he said that, I taught you about storms. Nani Kawambe, he said that you are in the storm or coming out as, outside the what? Or you are about to enter this, in, into the storm in your life but the important thing is who are you with oh but this is this what happened to the to the uh, the disciples of jesus when the challenge the storm came thank god jesus was with them thank god jesus was with them so the problem was not the storm the problem is who are you with even though he was asleep but listen to me his presence there was so important Oh, I pray that in whatever you do, you will not leave God out of the equation. You will ensure that God is with me. Even if he's sleeping better, I will ensure that God is with me. I'm doing a business, but God, are you happy with this business? Is this your will? Oh, can you someone ask you? Yeah, dealing as a good arakas, tam, tam, arakaraka, unakibili, and I listen, go down to your knees, Lord. If this is yours, I'm okay with it. If it's not, Lord, take it away. Because I know where I'm going. There's something I'm building up. And I don't want to go down. And cry alone. Listen, if God allows you to go down and he was in it, listen, he knows why. That means he has a better plan. And that is his strategy. Listen, any man, the first thing that is must check in his life, if he, it is if he has God. Let's read in the book of 1 Samuel, I believe, chapter 16, verse 18. About David. A man is confirming what is in David. we we'll finish with this one. 1 Samuel, I believe so. 16, 18. Very quick. Yes. Yes. Look, I have seen a son of Jesse. Ah. Uh. Now, this, listen to me. Who is what? Now, he is skillful in play. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. And the Lord. Now, there is a qualification. You have skills, you have intelligence, you can speak well. But listen to me, there is also a qualification in the same CV. And God is with him. A man without God is a useless man. It doesn't matter how decorated you are. As long as God is out of equation, you are very useless. I'm telling you, you have nothing. That's what If you are a, any man, when you, there is a there is a level you reach in business or in life, that now you you will need God. I say you'll need what? So is either you take God, the real God, or you take God's? Yeah. Can someone ask you? Can you make me do kaya waindi? Si mungu ana kwa ngato memweka. Yeah, mungu ana kwa ngato. Niwa kwa uliacha kwa kanisa. Bwana sasa, wa mungu, mungu wao ana kwa kanisa bwana asifiwe. Yeah, mungu wao ana kwa ngao mbe mungu wao. Wakienda kila mahali mungu wao ana kwa ngao mungu kao, ana kaweka, ana lazima ana kwa ngao vile ana produce mungu kao, kama mungu kao ana tembea kana kama mungu kao. Niwe peke yako unajifanya hapo utaki mungu. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. Wa jamaa wako na kimungu ni kichuma kimechongwa kikawekwa vitu na kafanya maneno na wakaeka hapo. Na wako nayo. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. Angalia mwezako mwambie, do you know that you need God? there is a level you will not enter if God will not take you to enter in that place there is a, there is a dimension you will never enter until God takes you to that dimension it is God that will advertise you and say this is my son take him Ah, but this was severe. even Jesus himself the heaven opened and he said this is my son to whom I am pleased with hear him what happened it's God confirmed this is my son Hear him. He is not alone. 
That's what Yesu mwenyewe anasema kwamba yale mambo ninawaambia yote ni yale nimesikia kwa baba yangu. Si semi yangu. He was trying to give you assurance that I am with him. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wale wanafunzi wanamuuliza tutajua tutajuaje tuta, Mungu? Akamwambia bwana tumekana nyinyi siku zote bwana. Eh? Hamjui ukiniona mimi umeona yeye. Ai. Kanza bwana asifiwe. He was trying to tell I am with him. When you see me, you have seen him. Oh, bwana Yesu asifiwe. You know there is a dimension you can enter as a man when you appear, God has appeared. Hallelujah. I say when you appear, God has done what? Because God is with you. He is on your side. This was a qualification of David. It was in the ECV. Ambaye siya liandika, iliandikwa. Kwamba yeye, he is handsome, he is skillful. Anajua kucheza hide. Ana, 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 ako, ako, ako. Ye ni, ni mtu ako sawa kwa vita. Na pia, mungu ako na ye. I pray in your CV, may it be added and God is with you. Uh, I say, may it be added that God is with you. Listen to me. Why is it important that God is with you? It is important because when challenges will come, they know that you cannot be defeated because God is with you. Ah, uh, Number two, they know if God is with you, then their businesses is secured. Why? Because your God will fight for them. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter what they believe. As long as your God is on your side, it doesn't matter what they think. It doesn't matter what they worship. What is important is God with you. Can you see Yeah. Imagine the God, the God of this man by the name Jacob helped his uncle, which was Mukora. Laban. Yeah. It is God of who? Jacob. And he understood. He knew that this man, God is with him. Lazima ni take advantage na u mungu wake. Lazima ni tasota. Wanezo sifiwe. Kaniza wana sifiwe. When will you have bosses that will say, I will not fire this one. They will not steal you, for you from you, by the way. But they will say, I will not lose, one, lose this one. Not because of anything. Yes, he's intelligent. Yes, he's hardworking. But do you know what? God is with him. That whatever he touches, grows. Whatever he does, expands. I want this man because when I have this man, everything grows. Hey, Vanessa, if you, you know, oh, Kayazo Balaga, there is a man in every generation, there is a man, when you meet them, things will change in your life. Uh, I pray that you be that man, that when you enter in a company, the company grows, that bosses, they don't want to fire you. Ah, uh, Vanessa, if you, not because of just your qualification, but the God in you, they say it is true, he's qualified. I've seen somebody else qualified than him, but there is one thing that I've seen in him, He's God. He's God. This is what happened to Daniel. This is what happened to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Listen to me. Daniel was not, did not stay with Nebuchadnezzar. Do you know Daniel served almost four? Four of the kings. Yeah. Ule mkina lekuja, anambua, eh, eh, biu narani, serekali, kijana, awe ni vizuri, patu sijali, I've got you. Kuna jama flani, alikuanga na baba yako. Nebukadineza. But as if you, we jama chukwe, we jama atakusa idea. Because the man, apart from having wisdom, God, he had God. God was with him. And to everything that you have, add God in it. And to the wisdom, add God. And to the riches, add God. And to anything that you have, add God. Let God be part of the CV. That other people will ask you, why should you pick you? It's because I have God. Hi. What do you have that others don't have? I have God. And my God is a reality one. He's a real one. Uh, my God speaks. Can someone ask if you you don't just go like other people other people they go with just their papers but you don't have just papers you have God and backup of God the papers are there qualified good in speech, good in everything but guess what, God is with me this is what sustained Joseph this, this is what made the thing that happened to Daniel Daniel uyu mungu wako uyu mungu wako 
wakati Shadrach Meshach and Abednego wanatolewa walisema ni Mungu wao jamaa eh ndio tutaabudu because how kwa to skillful oh have you read about how they were elected Shadrach Meshach and Abednego na kina Daniel how could you to view of you ah walisemekana tutafutie ni watu ambao wako na hekima na maarifa vijana chipukizi hivyo ndio walichukuliwa so baada ya kuwa na hekima walikuwa na nani Mungu Wewe sana ni sura peke yako uko naye peke yake That's the problem uko na sura peke yako Kaza bwana sifi na unaweza tweng how are you Apart from kutweng empty empty Oh bwana Yesu asifi I pray that God will be with you Apart from being handsome you will be intelligent. Ab- ab- above intelligence ah you will have God. I say you will have God. That men when will come to you they will see something bigger than the other things. Apart from riches let God be with you. Let God be with you. If God is for us who can be against us? If God is for me who can be against me they will plan, they will plan their evil thinking that I, i was just elected because of qualification only to realize that god backed me up ay 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 do you know they wanted to well take to daniel because well daniel daniel aliingia tu pale hivyo hivyo wale jo to daniel ay 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 some of you you will be beat, you will be swallowed by the lion because listen to me the king is about to make a decree against you the decree that your colleagues they are happy with it that you will bring you out of the equation that you are to leave mali uko but listen to me they did not know that daniel did, didn't just have qualification only the man had a backup of god hey kenye inafanya tunaisha haraka sana ni kwa sababu tunapangiwa tu kwa kazi tunafanya tunapangiwa ka temptation kadogo na tunamalizwa because tulikuwa peke yetu mungu ay 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 mungu akuzuia daniel asitupo ndani ya tundu la simba ah ah kenye ilifanya aliena naye kwa tundu la simba ay because god was with him is one as if you even if they are planning against you as long as god is with you don't worry ah uh, bona so if you they know they know just zero thing about you they know you are good and they think that umekuwa tu favored just got some uko favored hallelujah when i started ministry some uh, when i started ministry god had blessed me a little bit kuna vile mungu alikuwa amenibariki and some people said you know what ah uh, kenya nafanya Eh Shiro John Sage na Kaiko poa poa ni kwa sababu pasi yako na pesa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Kasema hiyo kanisa ni watoto tu wako ndani. Ni ni pesa tu, ni pesa ndio namchocha. Hakuna kitu kingine. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. One day I cried to God and said to God, God, is it true that it is only my... you want to tell me God you are not with me? Prove to them that Lord you called me and I am with you. Yeah. Me I pray ingine yote wacha na wacha wadhanie wadhanie tu eh ukaniza bwana asifi alo kaniza bwana asifi wacha wacha kenye wanadhanie ndio imekuweka wakuwe surprised kumbe Mungu amekupatia backup ah wacha wacha wanasema tu okay imeinua huyu jamani sauti nzuri yako nani unaona anaonekana sana wacha nikwambie wacha ifike mahali waseme si sauti peke yake chukuni yako na sauti kama wewe lakini wewe ukiimba Ah. Mwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni sawa wote wako na masauti, lakini wewe ukimba, sauti vile inatoka. Hey, kanisa bwana asifiwe. Ni kweli nyinyi wote mko qualified. Wanasema Kenya imemweka pale ni kwa sababu alienda a university na kaa kubwa. Listen to me. Lakini wakati wanapanga same job yenye unapanga, yako inakuwa na neema. Wanaangalia wanasema but this one is different. This one there is a guy that anatengeza nga poster anaitwa Vincent maana sio siwe Vincent akitengeza poster kila mtu anasemanga wow hello hata kwa mtu unaweza chenga kitu akanambia eh huyu jamaa acha naye haleluya mmoja tu aliniambia kwamba hii ni ni mkusanyiko ya masomo na talent haleluya huyu ndio mwalitengeneza hii na hata hiyo bana iko hapo nje same guy if god is with you Hallelujah. What other people think is ordinary when you touch? Mm. 
When others do it, it is ordinary. But when you touch, yours is just the same like them. But yours is, there is an added advantage. God is with you. But let me finish this one. Amen. This one, me. Amen. As I finish, Hallelujah. This one, me. Amen. Mugosa, you are paying more than me. Can you understand what I say? When David was called to prove that God was with him, he knew how to. He had skill to play it, isn't it? But to prove that God was with him, I want you to get the qualification. Ambaye elko nambiwa. Ali ambo nini? Ukirudi pale ju ana uyu deni anasema kwa sababu ameingiwa na pepo pana hizo sifiwe haleluya na shindo kama muna muna elewa kia nasema hapo juu anawambia kwa sababu wewe umepato na pepo umepato na saitan na demoni so unaitaji mtu tutume sisi tuma mtu moja wetu aende akutafutie mtu ambaye atafanya kitu soma verse 16 yes it says first samuel chapter 16 verse 16 yes era wa masa nao command your servant then command your servant who are before you who are before you to seek out a man who is skillful who is a skillful player of an app did you hear that to seek a man that is what skillful of an do what and up eh uh-huh. and it shall be that he will play it with his hand when he is when the distressing spirit from god is upon you and you shall be well listen atachesa hiyo kitu na kadimoni ambapo katakuwa kwa mekuingia katakana nini lakini wamesema nini we need somebody who is what skilled 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 we need a keyboardist that is skilled in playing keyboardist but this is the problem that the arm must have power to cast out devils ah uh, but imeandikwa kweli cast out devils ah 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 imesemekana that pepo ikikuingia atapiga iende nisikize in other words tunahitaji mtu zaidi ya keyboardist tu in other words tunahitaji mtu mwenye ni manager si manager tu ni zaidi ya kuwa manager eh Verse 23. Yes. And so it was whenever the spirit from God was upon Saul eh. that David would take a nap and play it with his hand. Then Saul would become refreshed and well and the distressing spirit oh, would depart from God. him. Oh my God. We need a manager in the company. Not just a manager, but a skillful manager that when he manages the company, when demons come to attack our company, hey, not only not only bankruptcy, but listen to me when demons come. In other words, a mother is skillful, but also God was with him. That was an advantage. Yes, I know how to play the keyboard, but listen to me. There is an hidden advantage. Yes, I am a pastor but there is another advantage. Ah yes, I am a doctor but there is another advantage. There is a man by the name Ben Carson. He was able to do many things and he said because God. There is a way God can help a man in the skills that you have that when you do it something happens. Ah, a woman comes to namshuka nywele and I talk about you and anointing. And I say I came when I had a problem in my marriage. I'm coming out my marriage is healed. I came when I had debt but I'm coming out the miracle has happened you are not just skilled you are anointed to be that that position this is the position of saying if God is for us oh but as you see me you are just not just a teacher but a teacher that carries anointing after teaching them they feel there is something that has entered them you can heal them and make them have peace I bless you as if you me I pray for you that in whatever you are doing you will carry God God will be on your side when you they think you are alone you are not alone you will be like David yes I am skilled but guess what when I play the keyboard demons will be scattered demons will go away I pray in your life whatever you do the heavens will give you a backup whatever you do the heavens will stand up So that is our son. Here I am. There is a dimension of things. Oh, 
Lord Jesus. It is my prayer. Oh, Kayalo Zabada. You can be an MC, but MC that carries the anointing of God. You can be just a choir master, but a win one with anointing. A cook that when people cool, eat your food, they say something has touched me beyond. Oh, my Allah by Inanna knows. I want you to stand up on your feet and just pray simple prayer and tell God, if you are for us, if God be for us, who can be against us? Oh, if you are with me, Lord, what can put me down? If God, you are with me, what can destroy me? If God, you are with me. Hey, ananana le mayos. Zela capela do binane, ananane la nos. I am tired of being myself alone. I want a backup from heaven. Nimechoka kufanya kazi peke yangu without an assurance, without a backup from heaven. Yeketa paya kapala gada gada. Men think that I'm just qualified. I'm not only qualified in speech, in talent, in education. Guess what? God is with me. Le kamanda sopela kataya la badala. Sekete pariko sabia na 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 na. There's something that can make a difference in your life. It is when God is with you. I want you to pray and say, God, I want to be with you. Be with me, Lord. In whatever I do, Lord, be with me. That is what will make a difference in my life. I pray, Lord. Be with me. In everything, may you be with me. If you are for me, you can be against me. Don't leave us, God. Don't leave us. If you're for me, without you, who can foreshadow me? If you're for me, who can hide me? Without you, Lord. If you're for me, who can destroy me? If God, you are for me. Shakapalede, Sabayane, Ladadane, with me, don't leave me, God. I let you go. They trust in their chariots and in their horses, but I trust in you. I trust in you. They trust their education, they trust their skills, but Lord, a skill without Lord, it is useless. Oh, Lord, I trust in you. I refuse to go along. I refuse to push things along. Don't leave me go. Don't leave me go. Don't leave me go. There's a place where men they think they can overwrite you. I pray the name of Jesus. Receive a backup from heaven now. Receive a backup from heaven now. You are not alone. You are not alone. Shakata baleka paria bada de la bada. Shekete palipo skabaya la bada la bada. They want to overwrite you. They think that you are not important. Let them discover your God. Let them see your God. Let them see what you are going to do. You are not just there to provide the, the, the professionalism. You are there also to provide spiritual covering. Shake paria ya. You see, some of you, they, when they think to, to, to fire you, let me tell you, God will appear them at night. And they will understand your value. That your value is not canon. Your value has been invested spiritually. Your value is spiritually invested. That no man can be able to ignore you. Uh, they can ignore other things. But they cannot ignore the God in you. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
Lift up your hands. I pray for you. I declare in your life that in anything that you'll be given, any job, any service you'll be given to do, I declare the name of Jesus. You'll not just appear with the skills only. You'll appear with your God. I declare you'll appear with your God. I declare you'll appear with your God. Men will see you and they will see your God. They will see the skills and say, surely there is God in this skill. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray the name of you. You'll not just quench what they need professionally. You'll quench even what they need spiritually. You'll deal with the things that has been dealing, uh, that has been hindering the company or the place that you'll be giving the service. You'll deal with it spiritually. In the mighty name of Jesus. May God give you favor. May God give you grace. May God give you favor. May God give you grace. In the, name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. May you stand and become the intention of God. Oh, may you receive the backup of God. Amen. In whatever God has allowed you to do, may you receive the backup. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Celebrate Jesus. Today, refuse to do things by yourself. Amen. Refuse. Mm. David never asked for a job. Job looked for him. Because there is something he had invested. He had invested for a fellowship with God. And even when God lifted him, he also inquired of God. That's why he said, God, do not take away your spirit from me. He knew when God disappears in his life, his life has disappeared forever. I pray you will love God. You will walk with him. You will strive to have him. You will fight not to lose him. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May God bless you. May God uh, bless you so much. Are we blessed? Are we blessed? God bless you so much. Now, let, let, let's take our offering. <clears throat> you can take that prayer overnight and pray and tell God to be with you. Just take all your offering by God's grace. Thank you, Jesus. In you are your own. In you O come on your son and I, nay, come on your son and I, come on your son and I, nay, come on your son and I, son and I, nay, sit service of today. Thank you for your word, Lord, that you have called us back even to have you in whatever we do. Uh, receive all the glory. Receive all the honor, Father. Lord, as we honor you with our substances, Lord, bless our lives. In Jesus' name we pray, believing and trusting. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Come bring your offering. By the grace of God, God bless you so much. Oh, come on, your son and I, your son and I, Naya. Oh, come on, your son and I, son and I, Naya. Sit your life and one of my, and one of my, Lila. Sit your life and one of my. Come on, you son, and I, O 
studying about David and uh, when it's ready I'll tell you Amen This is Salvation TV Christ in me